Hey everybody, good morning. I have a big glass today. I didn't drink a lot of it before going live. And that's because I thoroughly enjoyed my brownie. Yes, you heard me. I had a brownie with my superfood this morning because today is refeed day in my my program, my 80 day program. I wanna say today's like 47. Um, but basically, uh, refeed day will be explained shortly. I'm going to do a post about it on my, um, personal, my Instagram and, uh, my personal Facebook. Good morning, mom. And I'll explain refeed day to you guys. But I read a little bit more in my artisan notebook. I'm probably going to be done with that book tomorrow. Maybe even today if I get a little bit of reading done this afternoon. But I wanted to talk about this specific topic with it because I think it's something that a lot struggle with, um, with that topic of saying no. Because I think a lot of times we think saying no makes us a bad person or um, just makes us horrible. And that's not true. And my book even confirmed it this morning that that is not true. Saying no does not make us a bad person. And uh, that thought process of saying no comes from our childhood. Think about it. You're in grade school, right? And, you know, when, when kids, what I love about children is their honesty. And they don't think twice about what they're going to say. They just say what they're feeling. And as much as a lot of people don't love that, I love that. Um, if you want an honest opinion about something, ask a child. Good morning, Pamela. So, you know, if you think about it, when you were in grade school, if there was something you didn't want to do, you just said, nope, nope, not doing it, I don't want to, or whatever you may say, no thank you, whatever it may be. Hey, Harold. So, grade school kids say no. Well, then you start to notice that either your friends might get a little testy with you or your teachers start to tell you that, um, you know, it, it, sometimes they don't verbalize the way I would probably verbalize, but they basically tell you that saying no isn't right and saying no isn't the right thing to do and you shouldn't speak like that and you shouldn't say things like that, all that kinds of stuff, right? So we're constantly hearing that the word no is a negative towards others. Um, and then you go into middle school and same thing. The teachers start to, you know, reiterate what your grade school teacher said. And then you start to really think about, hmm, my friend got upset when I said no. Or my teacher got upset, hey, Laura, when I said no. So then you start to really worry about saying no because you don't want to upset someone or you don't want to, um, you know, get somebody aggravated. So then we start to, hold on, I have a notification that's driving me nuts. There we go. Then we start to um, hold back on saying no so much because we don't want to hurt anyone. We don't want to be a bad person. And saying no doesn't make us bad. Saying no sometimes is because you already have plans with somebody else. Or you, you might already have something else going on. And if you said yes to that person, then you'd be giving up on the person you already had plans with. So us having that thought process that saying no makes us a bad person comes from our childhood of constantly hearing that it's not nice to say no to people. It's not nice to use that word. So if you grew up in a household where if you said no thank you, they just said okay, then you don't have that people pleasing mentality. Hey Kirsty, you don't have that thought process of oh my gosh, I'm such a bad person because I say no. And you know, if you're saying no because you don't want to, that's fine. You should be okay with that. You're not going to want to do everything everybody wants to do. And everybody's not going to want to do everything that you want to do. And it's funny because we're probably more worried about saying no to our certain friends. And then those are the friends that say no to us. And we're just like, okay, they say no to us and we accept it. But they don't accept it when we say no to them. And those are the things that you need to think about. 
with the art of saying no. And there was a tip in my book today, and this is something I want you guys to try out. It was a really cool tip. I was like, oh, I like that idea. Because I've told you guys to say no in small doses, like start saying no to things, even if you're available, just to get used to hearing the word coming out of your mouth, saying no, and not feeling bad about it. But this was a great tip on saying no. So remember, no isn't bad. It doesn't make you a bad person because you don't want to do something. You might not like the same thing as somebody else. Good morning, Dale. Um, so what you need to do is when you're like shopping, right? How often, okay, walking through the mall alone, at least here in South Florida, walking through the mall, you have those kiosks down the center. They're always coming up to you trying to like give you stuff. Here, for you, take this. Let me file your nails. Let me, let me do your eyebrows. Let me flat iron your hair. Whatever it may be. For those people, say no. Say no. Start practicing no. No thank you. No thank you. When you're in a department store and they offer you, oh, would you like to apply for our credit card and get 15 to 25% off? Say no. No thanks. Those are the places that you can practice no without worrying and without feeling bad. You know why? Because you don't know that person. So there's no emotional attachment. They're not a friend. They're not a family member. So it's easier for you to say no. The Girl Scout cookies. Say no. But what I do is I still, you know, they're young girls. I don't want them to feel disappointed that they can't sell cookies. Because if I wasn't on this healthier lifestyle, I'd be eating them all up. <laughs> but um, I'm making the choice that I don't want to. And these girls are trying to learn to sell products. So what I do sometimes is I'll say, no, thank you, sweetie. I don't eat cookies, but here's $5 or whatever. And I'll give them some money because they're trying to raise money for their troop. So I help them in that way. Um, yes, exactly. I don't, those kiosks, Laura, I'm like, yeah, no thanks. They're like, can I do something with your nails? I'm like, no, my nail girl's the only one that touches my nails. <laughs> um, but it's just a great way, like when you're shopping in a store and they offer you, you know, a percentage off for the credit card. And as much as you might want that percentage off or whatever, do you really need another credit card? Absolutely not. So just say no thank you and start practicing there and start saying your nose there, it might be a lot easier for you to say no to other people. Um, since reading this book, I've gotten a lot better on saying no um, without the guilt. I was I was doing better before the book uh, with saying no to certain things. Like I told myself, you know, if I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm a freaking human being, not a robot. Everybody looks at me like I'm superwoman. I'm not. Um, I get stressed out. I get overwhelmed. My plate gets overflowed and it stresses me out. But you know, I have to say no if I'm too overwhelmed and have too many things to do. So <clears throat> I started saying no, but I still had the guilt. I still felt bad that I was saying no. So this book has helped me a lot. You know, it's opened up my eyes to the people that say no to me or the people that don't even ever answer me when I ask for help. I'm not one that asks for help very much. And then when I do ask for help, sometimes I don't even get answers. So, um, you know, so those are the people... I'm not worried about saying no to. You say no to me all the time. Why do I have to be the yes girl to you? So I want you guys to try that today or whenever the next time you're shopping or whatever you may be doing. If somebody tries to suggestively sell you something like a warranty um, that you really probably don't need because those warranties have mostly a lot of hidden verbiage that you really have to read the whole thing to understand that it's not covering very much. Um, you know, those types of things. Credit card for the store. Them just asking you, you know, take this or take that. No thank you. Uh, when you, every time you go to Publix and they ask you to donate to this and to donate to that. A lot of times I've been in Publix six times that day and I donated the first time. So I don't feel bad. No thank you, I already have. Um... But I want you guys to try that. Try saying no in small doses. Um, unless you're already comfortable saying no, then you need to remember that saying no is not a bad thing. It doesn't make you a bad person. So you can wipe that guilt right away. You don't have to feel guilty for saying no. You're just staying true to who you are, true to the things that you like. And, um, you know, 
true to what you want to do. You're not going to please everyone. You just have to worry about pleasing yourself. So I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, guys. It's refeed day, so this girl gets to have brownies twice, and I get to have this awesome egg sandwich after my workout, and we're having burgers for dinner tonight. Um, so I'm thoroughly going to enjoy this day, and I want you to enjoy your day as well. So if there is something that you're looking forward to today, I hope everything works out according to plan. I hope everything happens the way that you want, and you have a marvelous, marvelous day. Bye, guys.